live from the room right before you go into the boardroom. That's oh. the room that you're most comfortable with, Matt. The only room you'll ever see. Yeah. It's an all new, terrific Tuesday edition of Business Pants. Joined as always by analyst whole Matt Muscardi. In today's socially responsible tote bag of Larry Fink sized bobbleheads. That's a big bobblehead. I think he's tall. Called February 27th, 2024. Biz Nuggets! Yeah. Wow, he really exclaimed it there. It's so energetic. <laughs> a programming note from, from now moving forward on Tuesdays. Every, we're going to release a show every Tuesday. It's either going to be Biz Nuggets or The Good Game featuring Ari the Data Queen. That's right. People like her. They like her. They don't like us. But we're they also, like The Good Game. We're not going to do Woke Wednesdays. We're going to do... I did, uh, I'm just talking about Tuesdays. Can we just, oh, can we just right. stay with well, Tuesdays? Yeah. Why <laughs> inform anybody what we're going to be doing in the future? Our show today is being sponsored by FreeFlow Analytics, the only ESG data platform to measure real board influence and diversity power gaps. In fact... I use the platform. I use our data for every show that we produce. I, I'm i looking into it for, for, for one thing or another. Like, who's the chair of this committee? Who has the most influence? Uh, you know, I all just, those kinds of things. I just talked to a reporter who a was asking, like, who's the next Why? Tesla for non-independent boards? We can do that. And I, and I was like, well, look at our platform. It's like we can you've do got that. network connections. They're all there. It's right there for you. Ready? Yeah, let's nugget this. N I love None of nuggets. that's making me feel like happy or funny. <laughs> well, be funny now. <laughs> Just turn it on. Well, I need a better writer. So hold on. Let me have a swig. <laughs> well, we need a writer is what we need. Here we go. Get better. Here we go. In our... At least it wasn't a Boeing. Actually, it was a Boeing 757-200. No, I said at least it wasn't a Boeing... 757-300 headline of the week. I, I did a lot there for that a was a lot. Joke. That was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Boston bound flight from San Francisco forced to divert to Denver after plane's wing came apart midair. That's not great part to come apart. That's a right? Boeing 757-200. I just I don't like the idea of a wing coming apart. It's only no. one wing. I guess that's true. So I feel better now. Yeah. In our, is it too late to pivot to selling carrots or how about just broccoli? Generative AI tomatoes? Wait, I said, I, I predicted on a show I was not going to say generative AI. I just uh, said you it. Did, you just said it. You did it. Headline yeah. of the week. Beyond Meat is back, Matt. They're launching a new, healthier version of bur of its burgers and bid to bring back customers. Did I they ever have customers? Like, I think <laughs> they did, I think, have seven customers. They have as many yeah. customers as we have listeners. Can, can I say the only reason why I picked the story is because this is, my, this is one of my favorite ESG companies, uh, and they've been a miserable failure, and I don't <laughs> want them to be a failure. I want them to be successful. I don't know why they suck so much. I don't know. I just wanted to talk about Beyond Meat for a second. I don't understand why they need too expensive a, a healthier version. Like what? Well, Matt, like, it's you either got to be healthier. Bad burgers are because Matt, it has to be healthier or cheaper. Or, you know what I mean? Like or, you know, same price or healthier. It can't be both. It can't be unhealthy and expensive. What are we doing I here? <laughs> Right? Everything's expensive. That's I don't true. Know. That's true. It's a really it's like you get a five dollar cup of coffee now. In our, does this mean Europeans have to stop making fun of obese Americans, or does this does this mean they are going to make uh, more fun of obese Americans? I don't. know. What does the financial data say? Headline of the week. Ozempic and WeGovy sales are so hot they're powering Denmark's GDP. GDP, yeah, that's that's a thing about that. That's, well, I got a question: Are yeah. there that many fat people in Denmark that no, they're buying? No, there are this? none. There are none. So we know where we they're doing? being shipped. Like, stop. Shouldn't stop. Like, it's going like, straight to the UK and straight to America. We know when, this is when true. When COVID hit, they, they were sending out vaccines to places that needed it most. Why don't we do that with these things? In our boat company is not liable for getting passengers to Nantucket. Oh. Headline of the week. That feels like an oversight. 
Snapchat is not liable for connecting 12-year-old to convicted sex offenders. Ooh. This, this is thanks to Section 230, Matt. Wow. That's why. Yeah. I don't despite like the that fact that Despite the fact that the 12-year-old signed into Snap, they were immediately... Uh, the sex offender was someone that... They, a recommendation from the company to the 12-year-old to add as a friend. And yet they are still not liable. I don't like that. I don't Incredible, like right? the Incredible. joke. I don't like the story. <laughs> Come on. You don't, don't like a like... boat company not being liable <laughs> to get passengers in Nantucket? Come on. I... I love a Nantucket <laughs> joke. There's not that enough of New those. England centric. Yeah, that's no. like four people got that. All right. In our, it's really going to do wonders for my CEO pay ratio headline of the week. Wayfair CEO says laying off workers has turned out great. Yeah, it's been great. It's been <laughs> awesome. And I want to put a name to this. This is Wayfair CEO Naraj Shah. Uh, in a letter to shareholders saying how great the layoffs have been. And let me add to that, because this letter was actually co-signed by co-founder and co-chair Steve Conine, because it's these two men that control all of the influence at Wayfair. So once again, the business news doesn't really know what's going on at these companies. They 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 kind of, they, they think that kind of maybe the CEO's in charge, but they don't actually look into who's uh, saying these things. Well, I got a question, like, yeah. Is this like, was he asked at like a dinner party, like, how's work? And he's like, oh, it's been great. It's really great. And like, a the letter to shareholders. Okay, it's great. A letter to shareholders. <laughs> I just want to be sure where they wrote this. That's right. I hope none of the shareholders are, are actually employees. Uh, well, or I former mean, heaven pro- employees. That's worse. Yeah. Heaven forbid. All right, Matt. All right, Take let over me for do some because yeah. um, I Do something actually funny. I can't promise that. All right. In our. What if we call it sexy, sustainable, adjacent growth portfolio? Ooh. Or or we have some black women value fund. Okay. Or maybe, it's if that's still mislabeled, how about Sustainalytics gave it a 74 out of 12 globes? Yep, <laughs> that's the one. I nailed it. Headline of the week, crackdown on fund mislabeling, new ESG fund name guidelines on the horizon. Oh, they're making them change the like you ESG you fund name guidelines. You, you know we're really <laughs> we're solving the world one step at a time here. You can't name it the sexy sustainable adjacent growth portfolio anymore. It's but you can be. go on the Twitter and be a horrible racist. <laughs> well, you got to keep give people some rights. Yeah. In our Sorry, there's no cattle in your area right now, so the price for this burger is $34.99. But you can upgrade to a Black's XL burger for just $7 mm. more. Headline of the week, Wendy's will try surge pricing for burgers. Oh, man, I love this one so much. So Wendy's, it, it, just like Uber or Lyft, they're going to try surge pricing on like not just the burgers, all of their products. Everything, yeah. Do you know how much I love this? I still won't go, <laughs> but I just love this idea, like... At two thirty, maybe the fries are like seventy nine cents because who the hell would eat fries at two thirty? Yeah, well, th- th- isn't d- does that create demand for fries at two thirty? Is it that might. what the surge pricing? And, and think is about to it. Do? At like two a.m., the burger is going to be seven thousand dollars, and right? Yes, and it makes me think Nelson Peltz is on the board of Wendy's. Why does okay. Disney Plus do surge pricing as his strategy? <laughs> Can you I imagine? love this too. Hey. Look, I'm a very predictable person. On weekend nights, especially Friday, I like to watch a movie now. I'm an old man. You know, my kids are old. I watch a movie. If if Netflix charged $7,000 for that movie, they could make a lot of money. You're right. <laughs> my kid gets up at 6.30 in the morning on a Saturday. What am I going to do? Like, go, please, watch anything. Leave me alone I so I can this. get another I hour s- of sleep. It'd be i pay $20 for that I think hour. We should, I should do, we should do surge pricing on everything. I Nelson. mean, really, like... Like uh, BlackRock pretending to understand corporate governance and ESG, they should do surge pricing on their ESG funds, right? <laughs> I don't even know. How Twenty-four that would cents. Work. <laughs> Twenty-four cents. All right. I don't In know our, what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't know. I love it though. In our. We have a strict no petting the tunnel wall policy here. Please stay in your vehicle until after the traffic jam has stopped. Headline of the week: oh. Elon Musk's tunnel reportedly oozing with skin-burning chemical sludge. Oh. It's not 
what you want to <laughs> ooze. That's not. Why, does, why is every company involved in Elon Musk Empire? Why are there so many stories like this? Why is not enough headlines with the word oozing in it? It's yeah, really okay. an oversight point, of writers. In our, we started our descent into Austin, where the weather looks delightful. Please disconnect your phones from the power source while we're landing. Flight attendants, please prepare for landing and disconnect our safety measures. Headline of the week. Oh. Boeing safety disconnect ripped in scathing report accusing rank and file of covering up quality issues for fear of retaliation. Wait, so they're they're blaming the workers first, of, but they're blaming the workers because they feared no, retaliation blaming, from management. Yeah, so the so there was an expert panel that went and reviewed, and Ari spent all night reading this because mm -hmm. well, I don't know she why she used to work at Pratt. Whitney and Whitney, that's true. Yeah, but Pratt and Whitney. but uh, they they basically found that the people they had all of these safety systems and channels and whatever, but no one, none of the employees knew they even existed. So it's like they set them up somewhere way up top and then didn't tell anybody. And then uh, they put the managers of the employees in charge of the safety conversation, which meant. If you're telling your manager there's a safety issue and like then you have a performance review, it's not great for you. It's well, like pure retaliation. The good news is, Matt, according to expert ESG expert uh, Jeffrey Sonnenfeld, that now, 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 CEO laser. Dave Calhoun is laser, laser focused on safety issues. Before, he was kind of like one scratchy contact lens, kind of blurry <laughs> focused. But now <laughs> he, he was is cataract laser. focused. He's laser yeah. focused. <laughs> <laughs> In our, this is a quote. I'm going to quote something. I did not write this except for a little bit, and you'll tell which bit. In our, prior to the reconstitution of the board, members of our board leadership met with shareholders owning more than 50% of the company's stock to understand their perspectives on our business strategy and leadership. The dominant view mm -mm. of those shareholders was that the company should do whatever was necessary to secure Rick Drayling's services as the company's top executive for a multi-year period. Rat safety is his primary concern. Headline of the week. This is the, whoa. Yeah. Family Dollar has agreed to pay $42 million after storing food and medicine in a warehouse with a severe rodent infestation. Rick Drilling, oh. they're doing anything they can do to keep that guy. He's the executive chair of Dollar General. Yeah. Meanwhile, and they're talking to their shareholders. It's the most important thing we can do. Meanwhile, they're storing all their their stuff in warehouses full of rats. I think it's impossible. Yeah, I think it's impossible for anyone to get fired at Dollar Store, Family Dollar, Dollar General, all those places. Yeah, pick a dollar. All right, uh, get me out of that one. That one right. was too long. <laughs> I like the long ones. It gave me time to text somebody. <laughs> in our, hey ma, it's seven thirty. Your new favorite show is on. Disingenuous gobbledygook CEO bullshit hosted by Jimmy Fallon. Oh, Jimmy. Tell dad. Headline of the week. <laughs> Uber CEO says the company took its drivers for granted. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine he's he's saying this? I, I mean, mean, shouldn't there shouldn't there be could you sue? Could the workers Okay, first of all, it's it's confusing because the drivers aren't technically employees of Uber, right? Shouldn't they? They're, they're yeah, contractors. They're not, yeah, they're but can they? Yeah. Can you sue? Can there be a class action suit saying, "Wait, you you took us like you didn't you weren't on our side then. Now you are." I don't understand. Look, in CEO Dara's defense, he didn't say that the company taking his drivers for granted has been great, which is what Wayfair said. So it's a little bit better than that. In our at a company that has never been profitable. Do you think the typo itself will be the employee of the month? Ooh, I like Headline of the week. <laughs> oh. I like that. Lyft CEO apologizes for the typo that sent the company's stock up 67%. I mean, it's probably the first time they've ever seen the stock go up for anything. I like that. Uh, first of all, I don't think that I, the typo thing is like way over played, but I Stop. like the idea that it could We're be an keep employee of the it. month. <laughs> Uh, and by the way, uh, the Lyft CEO uh, is uh, uh, who is the Lyft CEO? David David Risher. Yeah, and dual the, class and, David. And the Uber CEO is Dara Kos Kosro Shahi. 
Nobody can say his name. I don't think it's I still it's can't. Real. I've yeah, said it 3,000 times. I still don't get it right. <laughs> In our What About Kanye headline of the oh, week. Oh, I don't like this headline. Google shuts down AI image gener- generator after it made racially diverse Nazis. <laughs> right? Well, I mean, think about it, though. Is that the worst thing? I mean, he. I mean, I know he wasn't a Nazi in the '30s and '40s, but he's one now. So why? Why? Right? What's the problem? I don't yeah, understand. I'm not sure. That they, they just, uh, okay, yeah. move, let's move on. Move on. In our, this room is only big enough for one insane, racist, anti-civilizational program. Headline of the week. Nah, I don't like it. Elon Musk is accusing Google of running insane, racist, anti-civilizational programming with its AI. Oh, yeah, says the man with Grok. Like so that's a, the very uh, one that Google <laughs> shut down because they're they're making too many Kanye's or I don't know. There's not on. there's racially diverse Nazis. Elon's jumping and he's upset about Look, it. Look, yeah. let let everyone be included in the Nazis. It's fine. I mean, really, to the, every time I mention a story about Elon. Uh, uh, two, we have two today: uh, a tunnel oozing toxic sludge, um, him pretending a racist, pretending to care about racism. Every time we do these kind of headlines, I think to myself: I immediately think about the Tesla board and how they're doing nothing. Oh, wow! That, that they okay this behavior constantly. Yeah, that's it's not, that's not shocking. Uh, well, okay, I still think about it. That's all. <laughs> that's my point. <laughs> and finally, in my section, in our Hi, I'm Jay. Does anyone know where I parked my time traveling DeLorean? Headline of the week. You got to be old for this one. It's a Back to the yeah, Future that's reference. That you're throwing. Throwback. Back to the Future was a movie about a car, a DeLorean, that was a time traveler. I was right? there. Okay. I'm old enough. Yeah. That's the joke. <laughs> who you tell? Here's the headline. <laughs> Meet the former CFO who thinks he can fix Disney. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. I think, I think one of his ideas is... Let's go back in time. Let's get rid of Netflix. Let's let's get ri- let's just get rid of all of our competitors. Let's let's let, it's only let's just compete against Blockbuster. We were good then. We were winning when Blockbuster was let, our competition. Let's re- let's put out Little Mermaid every week. We're gonna kill. You remember when Jeffrey Katzenberg was the thing we were worried about? Now, like we can go back to that time. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. Get us out of here. Come on. In our, it's almost as if the people. Don't matter, headline of the week. Only 1 in 20 young voters said Taylor Swift's endorsement might sway their 2024 vote. Oh, it's that low? Yeah. Yeah, Still, that's a lot. It's 1 in 20 might get swayed. Well, okay. So it's 5%, but then it's a might. So it's like 2%. It's still, it could matter. If you're not going to listen to Taylor, who are you going to listen to? I don't know. In our... It's almost as if the people do matter. Headline of the week. City is betting big on high-profile executives to turn things around. Why don't you at least tell the audience, what are you talking about when you say that people don't matter, people do matter? What's the joke? So the joke there is we've been told we sell data on board members and executives about how they perform. The first of its kind. The first of its kind. And we've been told by investors who are apparently supposed to be very smart with money that the people don't matter. They don't invest ever thinking about who runs the company. Which is odd because the the number one financial guru in the history of this country is a man named Warren Buffett who always talks about um, investing in good managers. He's really into good managers. He loves himself some parochial cash flow yeah. and some good management, and then he lets them do their job. That's his thing. Yeah. He does, he's so he likes off. people. He loves you. So we 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 but we've been told by investors that show me the alpha. I'm not interested in disaster avoidance, poor governance, insular directors. I don't care about the people. Just show me the stock go up. That's what All they right. said. This isn't funny anymore. Keep going. No, it's sad. In our Canon's 100% mail board has announced it will keep its clothes on for the duration of the quarter. Headline of the week. 1,000-year-old Naked Man Festival ends due to Japan's aging population. <laughs> wait, 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 that's confusing in a lot of ways. First of all, <laughs> is, is Cannon's board all men? It is, 100% And second male. of all, 
if Japan's population is aging, wouldn't there be a lot of a thousand year olds around who could you play this so? game? You think so? The average yeah. age of the canon board is 74 years old. It's the second oh oldest God. board in Japan. I'm just wondering, like, it, do they Matt. shut it down because of people like them? Matt, if there's ever a case for diversity, diversity, it's this one because the last <laughs> time I talked about the brand Canon was what 1989, 1997. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so good, good work, Canon. In our firmware update alert, version yeah. twelve point three nine seven two B includes yeah. the following updates: brakes that work. Headline of the week. Toyota to recall 280,663 vehicles in the U.S. on concerns over ex unexpected movement, says NH. Unexpected movement. Yeah, apparently people will put the car into park or neutral and the car will keep moving a little bit. So not ideal. So how they're going to update this is using a software patch. Well, I will say this about Toyota. Quick glance at the Toyota data and our platform, uh, they have 12 directors. They they do have one woman. 92% male board. That's right. Yeah. 92%. So, so I, I don't Average know. Average age of 71. They're the fifth oldest in Japan. Yeah, you do the math here with Toyota's movement and Canon. I don't know. You, you make up something. Go ahead. Keep going. Finally, let's finish Ooh, finally, this yeah, My show. favorite word. It's Come your on. favorite word of the show. In our Failure recommends failure for future failure. Headline of the week, Norfolk Southern files preliminary proxy statement, recommends shareholders vote for its director nominees. Oh, what a shock. Yeah, are you? Are we shocked by that? I would say yes. No. Th that's it. That's our biz nuggets. That's Hazelnut Rollins. I am your analyst, Tom Mascari. We are Freak Float. If you like that, and I don't know why you wouldn't, come back for more. I got about 30 reasons. <laughs> On Thursday, we have a proxy countdown oh, show. What are we doing this week? What's the big vote? Hologic. What is Hologic? Hologic sells mostly like medical technology, and most of it is actually women-focused medical is technology. It, are they holograms? Why Hologic? What's I don't Hologic? know why it's called Hologic. We'll find out on Thursday. We're going to find out on Thursday. We're also going to find out how weird it is to have like seven men making the decisions on women's medical technology on a board with no doctors on it. Not oh. one oh. MD on this board. Not one. MD. So they must not they must not be based in Boston. They are in fact based just outside of Boston. That is, oh, that see that doesn't make there's sense. There's so many MDs New, to choose from. <laughs> I'm say, New England is run by women. Almost like all the politicians and governors are women. There are doctors everyone's a doctor. Everyone. I mean, you're, and yet this is the board this, that can't they find women or find doctors. A single, that, I mean, what are we doing here, it's people? Fifty percent women, and most of the women are all electrical engineers. Good for them. And yet not one doc on the board. In fact, all, all right. the people who run the company have like bachelors in econ and masters in econ. We'll find out more about how you should vote on, on Thursday, Hologic yeah, on this Thursday. This isn't funny anymore. Let's talk about Friday's Thursday. show is gonna be all sorts of entertainment uh, wrapping oh. up the week. Uh, Sean, I, I, I heard that Chantal the Intern <gasps> is coming back Friday. So if you're a Chantal the Intern fan, then Friday's your show. You can just delete all the other shows. Who isn't? That's amazing. We'll see Chantal on Friday. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>